Today, we are looking at the all new 2024 Subaru Impreza. This is the Impreza Sport. So I'm gonna show you guys the specific details on the new Sport and what is gonna be offered in 2024. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos just like this, all on Subaru related content. So if you enjoy that, click on the subscribe button down below, comment below with any questions you guys have. And also, if you guys get value out of this video and learn something new or just think it's cool, please be sure to click the like button. I really appreciate it. As I already mentioned, this is the new sport trim level. It does have the two liter engine with 152 horsepower, but if you want something that has a little bit more power, you can bump up to the now new RS trim level. Unfortunately, they don't have that here for us to feature today, but the RS has a 2.5 liter engine with 182 horsepower. So you get a little bit more and we're finally getting a little bit of a larger engine for the Impreza. New for the 2024 Impreza is also this new Oasis blue color. This is exclusive to the Impreza only. You can get up close here. We'll take a look at the color under the light. So it's a really nice blue, really catches your eye and something that really signifies that sport look now on the new Impreza. Much like many of our other newer Subaru models, Subaru is now incorporating this hexagonal front grille, giving it new styling, unlike the previous generation that had straight lines on the grille. And for the Impreza Sport, we have not only LED headlights, but we also have LED fog lights. It wouldn't be an Impreza Sport without the Sport Tune suspension and the 18 inch alloy wheels now featuring larger brakes for quicker stopping power. We also have SI drive for the Impreza Sport. So this can easily switch from sport mode and intelligent mode here on the steering wheel. Sport mode is gonna give you a little bit more throttle response and intelligent mode is gonna be a little bit better fuel economy. It's hard not to notice this large 11.6 inch touchscreen display that is now on the Subaru Impreza. They first started that with the Outback and Legacy back in 2020 and Subaru has slowly started to move the rest of their lineup over to this large display. So I see that many of our cars moving forward are probably going to have this larger display. That also means that this has the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which I will tell you from personal experience, that's something that I really enjoy. I don't have to plug in my phone anymore to connect whenever I hop in my car, it automatically connects. So there are some, some benefits to that. I know some people have concerns about the climate controls being difficult to control down here, but again, with personal experience, that is something that I, I can set my temperature controls on auto and it will do the work for me and adjust the temperature and the fan speed accordingly based on how I set it. If you're a fan of the manual transmission like I am myself, you will be disappointed to know that they have discontinued that for 2024 and now only have the CVT automatic transmission. We do have the manual mode with eight speed paddle shifters. So you can use the paddle shifters to shift up and down. Unfortunately though, we don't have the manual transmission. We also get a newly designed seat for the Sport. See on the center inserts here, we have a textured design as well as the red stitching on the seams and carried through to the back, we have the same interior, but we have a second row cup holder armrest. As always, it wouldn't be a Subaru if Subaru didn't give us the option to add the crossbars to put on your bikes, your kayaks, or who knows, depending on where you live, maybe even a surfboard. I also noticed a new design on the Impreza Sport for the step. This step allows you to get on top of the roof when you're mounting different things. And not only does it have a cool looking design, but this probably serves as a functional purpose too, allowing more grip so your foot is not slipping when you are trying to put things on your roof. To my knowledge, the four-door Impreza is being discontinued and now is only gonna be offered in the five-door hatchback. I'm not surprised by that at all because I typically don't sell that many of the four-door sedans. I sell a lot more of the Impreza hatchbacks. You still have your symmetrical all-wheel drive system that Subaru is known for and pretty much everybody wants. And we have the C-shaped redesigned taillights giving it that stylish look. When we pop open the hatch here, you will see we have a ton of cargo space. So this is still a small car, but if you are traveling, you have a ton of, ton of space here for your cargo, your luggage, anything you may be carrying. And we have the 60-40 split seats that both fold down completely flat. So you can fit a ton of items in here. Also carried over from the side steps I just showed you guys is this unique design on the back portion where the hatch latches. And we have this cool little Impreza hatch. If you're looking for a Subaru that is capable with all-wheel drive, that has a ton of value with a great price point, the Impreza is a good place to start. You have a ton of room 
all of the Subaru safety technology that they are known for and something that looks cool and stylish. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the 2024 Impreza. If you did like this video, please be sure to click the like button. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.